consider this video an intervention for people like you and me that absolutely love habit videos. You know what I'm talking about. Five new habits that will completely change your life. 50 study habits that will make sure you have an amazing university experience. We get it. We know them. But what seems to always baffle us is how hard it is to actually implement habits into our lives and most importantly stick with them long enough until we actually see results. So in today's video we are going to be answering all the basic questions about habits. So yes, it's an educational type of video. I've done the heavy lifting for you. All you have to do is sit back, chillax and let's understand habits better so we actually know how to use them to our advantage. Number one, what are habits? Habits are behaviors which are performed automatically because they have been performed frequently in the past. This repetition creates a mental association between the situation, the cue, and the action or the behavior, which means that when the cue is encountered, the behavior is performed automatically. Automaticity has a number of components one of which is a lack of thought. In short, a habit is an action you do frequently and automatically in response to something in your environment. Now, how do habits actually work? All behavior is driven by the desire to solve a problem. According to James Clear, the author of the book Atomic Habits, there are four stages of a habit. That is cue, craving, response, and reward. The cue, like seeing the Starbucks sign on your way to class, triggers your brain to anticipate a reward, like fixing your sugar craving and being awake for class. And so it creates a craving or a desire for that delicious nectar of the gods, which in turn initiates a behavior or an action, kind of like going into the store and picking out your favorite latte. The cue and the craving are part of the problem phase, whereas the response and reward are part of the solution phase. Now, how often does this loop happen? Constantly. It is an endless feedback loop that is running and active during every moment you are alive, even now. If you want to know more on this topic, I highly encourage you to check out the book Atomic Habits, or if not, definitely give the article by James Clear a read. I will link it in the description box for you. It is entitled How to Start New Habits That Actually Stick. The man is a genius. The next question is how long does it actually take to form a new habit? Sorry to disappoint you, but it depends. It depends on you and on the complexity of the habit that you are trying to form. But if you want me to make this a little bit more concrete, a study published in the European Journal of Social Psychology that, of course, I will link in the description box below, found that it takes on average 66 days for us to form a new habit. Now, I'm all about practicality, so how can you use this information in a way that will benefit you. You can use that number as a guide to make challenges. In my personal experience, if the habit is relatively small or simple, kind of like, you know, after you brush your teeth, floss, 30 day challenge is pretty appropriate. However, if the habit is complex and kind of becomes the elephant in the room, or in your daily routine, I find 60 day challenges to be a bit more useful. But again, the numbers will depend on you and on the habit. So you have to practice, you have to try them out, but use the finding of the average 66 days as a guideline and then just wiggle around there until you find something that works for you. How do I form a new habit? 
In the article I mentioned before by James Clear, he talks about the four laws of behavior change. He says that when it comes to creating a new habit, this is what you have to remember. Make it obvious, make it attractive, make it easy, and make it satisfying. Once you set up your habit with these four laws in mind, commit to a minimum of 30 days and track your progress. I repeat, track your progress during this time period. It doesn't even have to be that complicated. Print out a calendar and like just color the days that you actually did the habit. Moving on, and I know you're excited about this one, how do I make a habit stick? Now I want you to keep in mind that the two tips that I want to share with you are particularly intended for those big bada boom habits because you know what? Those are the most difficult to implement and keep with. Am I right? Number one, create behavior chains or attach it to an already existing habit. Studies have shown that you are indeed more likely to be successful in making a habit stick if you attach it to contextual cues versus relying on willpower alone. To give you a concrete example, your girl started swimming and I mean, I swim four times a week and I want to bring it to five times a week, okay? It's a pretty big thing and it pretty much just like forces its way into my daily routine. So how I made this easier is I took a pattern, a, a flow of behavior or a habit like I take the bus from work to come home and I attached the new habit on top of it so it doesn't feel out of my way, forced or just uncomfortable. At the end of the day, I take the bus to go from work to home. It just so happens the station right after takes me to the metro which takes me to the pool. I'm already on the bus. I'm already doing that behavior, that flow, getting off at the next stop is really not that out of my way. Number two, and this is a big one, integrate that new habit into your definition of the self. The more personal and defining a habit is, the more likely you are to stick to it because it is so attached to the self. Let me give you another example. So when people used to ask me, what do you do to stay fit? I used to say, I swim or I go swimming, which sounded a bit far. I mean, it's something I do. It's way over there. It's external, whatevs. However, more recently, because I like to play around with stuff, including with my subconscious, I changed my words. So now when people ask me, Anna, what do you do to stay in shape? I say, I'm a swimmer. I'm a swimmer. I swim versus I am a swimmer. Do you see how powerful and defining that sounds? Let me tell you, as a swimmer, I am very, very unlikely to skip a workout because at the end of the day I'm a swimmer. Let's try it with something a bit more complicated. Yeah Anna but like I study psychology. How do you say that? I study psychology something very removed it doesn't really mean anything to you. Change it to I'm studying to become a psychologist. I'm studying to become an engineer. Approach that new habit or whatever you're doing closer to your definition of yourself and watch it work wonders. Yo. And for those of you that stayed to the end, bonus hacks, bro fist. If you are someone that struggles with the motivation side of forming and sticking to new habits, I have two phrases that will legit help you out, okay? The first one is inspired by one of my favorite comedians of all time, Bill Burr, and 
If you haven't listened to him, please listen because I need you to have his voice in your mind when you say this phrase. And the phrase is, looks like I'm doing it. To give you an example, let's say I come home from work and it's really late and I'm really tired. I go to the washroom, I go to brush my teeth and I'm like, you know what? I, I don't feel like brushing my teeth. Do I really have to brush my teeth tonight? It's late, I just might as well go to bed. I want you to somewhat violently take the toothbrush, put some toothpaste on it, put it in your mouth, start brushing and be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, looks like I'm doing it, looks like I'm doing it. Use your inside voice, by the way, so you don't scare the neighbors or your loved ones, but I am telling you, it really works. Looks like I'm doing it. Number two, eh, I'm already here, might as well do it. Your girl swims for an hour and a half every time. The first hour is a-okay, however, those last 30 minutes, yo, I just, I want to give up. So when I catch my mind being like, okay, I'm done, you know, you've been doing it for an hour, like, I can't do the extra 30 minutes, I just can't. When I do that and when you do that, I want you to tell yourself, eh, you're already here. I mean, you already came all this way, you're already wet, you're already in the pool. Might as well do it, right? Like, you're already here. Like, just, just do it, man. Just, you're, you're already here. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe to me if you like what you see. Because I will be posting regularly again. Oh my god. Do not miss Thursday's video. I'm posting two videos this week and next week. Seriously. Do it. Do it. Do it.